Astro Kids and welcome back and this is my interpretation for what it looks like to have your natal moon in the Noxatra of Parnavesu. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. So to understand what it looks like to have your natal moon in Parnavesu, we first have to understand what the moon represents and then we have to break down this Noxatra of Parnavesu. And just a quick disclaimer, this is not according to Western tropical astrology. This will be according to Vedic astrology, which is using the sidereal zodiac. So if you're not familiar with what your sidereal moon sign is, there's a calculator down below in the description so that you have the correct information. So the moon is one of the most important grahas in Vedic astrology. The moon is representing your mind, and therefore the moon represents everything in your life. The moon is is a projector it is a reflector everything that is happening within your mind becomes a manifestation in your physical reality in the same way you are perceiving everything that is in your physical reality so the moon is projecting what is in your mind and is reflecting everything that is in your external environment the moon is representing your body it is representing your health and vitality the moon also is representing how you are interacting with other people. When people are coming across you and you are making connections, socializing, this is the personality that is coming forward. The moon represents your social standings, how you fit into society, how you're able to adapt and relate to others. The moon also is popularity and beauty. The moon is representing the mother, your connection to your mother, the type of nurturing that you need emotionally, what is making you emotionally fulfilled and satisfied. The moon also is representing all of the fluid in your body. And so it is also connected to your water intake. It is connected to your nourishment, all of your needs that need to be met. The moon is a very private and personal planet that has to do with your emotions, how you are reacting and responding to situations around you. The Noxatra of Parnavesu is found from 20 degrees of Gemini till 3 degrees 20 minutes of Cancer. And Parnavesu means the return of the light, wealthy again, the two chariots or visible infinity. It is nicknamed the Star of Renewal, and it is symbolized by a magical bow and quiver of arrows, where each arrow that is shot returns back to the quiver. And so this Noxodger has everything to do with renewal, with returning, with replenishing, restoring. This is following our previous Noxatra of Ardra, but there was a very different tone in that Ardra Noxatra. That was the first of our Rahu Noxatras and the first of our dreadful Noxatras, which was ruled by the storm deity of Rudra. And so in Ardra, we saw the storm in our life. We saw the darkness in our life, the chaos, the turmoil, the great transformations and upheavals within our life. But here in Ponervesu, this is after the storm. This is coming back from the storm, overcoming the storm. And so here, this is returning back home, returning back to the light, returning to what is good. Ponervesu is the first of our Jupiter Noxatras. And Jupiter has everything to do with expansion. And so there is a strong emphasis on freedom that is found here in this Noxatra. Ponervesu is ruled over by the deity of Aditi, which is the goddess, the mother goddess, and so she is the mother of the twelve Adityas. And Aditi is known as the vast one, the infinite one, the one who has no limits, no boundaries. And so this is a Naksatra that is correlating to this boundlessness, this limitlessness. There is a limitless amount of opportunities to come back from defeat. This is a Naksatra that always comes back. And so this is a Noxatra that has a lot of comeback stories, a lot of recovery stories. 
this is a knock Sacha where you think that they are at their last moment where they cannot overcome the difficulties and they do find a way to come back. So there is a ton of willpower that is found here, an unlimited ability to conquer the difficulties of life and to always come back to what is good, to come back to what is true in life. This is a knock Sacha that has a ton of good qualities to it. And this limitlessness also extends to this being a Naksatra that loves to learn, loves to explore. Remember that we are here in the sign of Gemini, which has everything to do with learning, gathering information, communicating, discovering things. And so this is a very curious Naksatra that loves to learn, that loves to explore, that loves to travel. This is a very philosophical Naksatra as we're here in a Jupiter-ruled Naksatra. Very wise, very insightful, very intelligent individuals. These are people who have a ton of wisdom to share with others. And this Aditi being the mother of the gods has a nurturing aspect to it. So these are people who love to share their experiences of defeat and overcoming those obstacles to help lift up others. These are teachers, guides, healers. These are people who are wanting to help. So there is a strong, virtuous quality that is found in this Natsatra. These are very calm and quiet individuals who have a very good heart, very generous, very compassionate, very well behaved, these are individuals who are easily forgiving others, not holding grudges. This is a Naksatra that has a lot of strong trust and honesty in it. It is a very diligent, it is a very compassionate and kind-hearted Naksatra. All of these good qualities are found here in this Ponavesu Naksatra. And coming off of this limitlessness, this ability to be boundless, to be free, this liberation of Jupiter, this is a Naksatra that does not need much, that is very good at being independent, very good at being self-sufficient, and does not have huge desires, does not have a desire to hold on to much in this life. These are people who are able to live very comfortable, very simply, without a ton of desires. These are people who are very pure of heart, very generous, very open to giving freely. These are people who care about the well-being of others. And so we can see a lot of these strong qualities that are associated with being a mentor, being a teacher, being a nurturer. And we can see that on the Gemini side, this especially comes through in the form of sharing intelligence and sharing this experience with others. But on the cancer side, this can become very motherly, very nurturing, of sharing this motherly wisdom with others, of wanting to protect, wanting to guide, wanting to nurture. So these are very strong qualities that are found here. These are people who are very idealistic, very experimental, again, wanting to learn, wanting to explore different teachings, different philosophies. These are people who can be highly religious and spiritual, wanting to do right in the world wanting to do the good acts in the world. So there's a very clean heart that is found here under this Naksatra of Ponavesu. These are individuals who can have a very good memory as well. Again, we have this effect of returning, of restoring, and so there's this ability to retrieve things from the past, to retrieve the information that is stored from within. These are people who are very intelligent. They have a ton of space to hold on to memories and information, constantly gathering information. And these are people who are well liked because of their good qualities. They're very charming. They are very attractive individuals. They're people that others love to be around. They're very positive, very inspiring people. Now this theme of coming home, of coming back to the light, of this desire to travel, to explore, and this returning also is associated with returning back home. These are people who value their home, their family. They are comfort seeking. They need that security, that stability of their home. And so even 
with this desire to travel, to have freedom, to explore, there is always going to be a need to come back home, to come back to comfort, to come back to that space of safety. And these are also individuals who can take something from their home with them wherever they go. There's always a part of their home that goes with them wherever they go in life. These are individuals who also can have a very good reputation, who can be very wealthy, who can be very prominent within society. And the power of this Naksatra is to bring wealth and abundance. And so these are individuals who can become very wealthy, very abundant, even with this strong, self-sufficient nature, with this lack of desires. There is not an interest that is here in wealth. However, these people manifest due to their lack of interest in wealth and possessions. This ability to give things away, to be generous, to be kind, returns back to them tenfold. And so through their kind actions, they gain a ton of wealth and prominence. With this connection to restoring, there can also be an interest in restoring the environment, of taking care of the environment, of recycling, of doing anything that is going to bring restoration back to the areas of the world that have been harmed, that have been abused. This can give a strong care for animals, for taking care of the poor, for bringing back the nurturing, the kindness, the goodness in all of these areas. Now each Naksatra has four quarters or four paras. So we can break up this 13 degree, 20 minute Naksatra up into three degree, 20 minute sections. And the first one is going to be from 20 degrees till 23 degrees, 20 minutes of Gemini. This is an Aries Navamsa. So here we can find a ton of energy, of enthusiasm, of optimism, a desire to explore, to learn. This can be a very adventurous side of this Naksatra. This can also give a ton of willpower. This is where we can see a push to overcome the obstacles of life, a resiliency to come back from the difficulties and defeat. In the second quarter of this Naksatra, this is a Taurus Navamsa. And so this especially is going to give a desire to live simply. This is going to give a comfort-seeking nature, a home body, someone who is very close with their home, with their family. All of this is very important. In the third quarter of Ponavesu, this is a Gemini Navamsa. And so this is going to give a strong Gemini effect. We see this in the sign of Gemini and in a Gemini Navamsa. And so this is going to give a strong intellectual nature. These are very philosophical, very idealistic individuals who love to learn, who love to explore, who love to gather information. There can be a strong memory here and a strong ability to teach, to guide others. In the last quarter of this Naksatra, this is a Cancer Navamsa, also in the sign of Cancer in the first three degrees, 20 minutes. And so this is also going to give a strong effect of this Cancer energy, where we see someone who is very nurturing, who is very loving, who is very supportive. This is going to show the very compassionate and generous side of this Naksatra.